Get everyone, BH and Dale here. Today we're going to do the first impression on Dale's new Latitude 7200 2 in 1. Now I'm here at a playground to do a different sort of style of review. Let's see how I go with doing this review on a playground, hey? It's kind of like part of my life these days. So this 2 in 1 means it can change from a laptop to a tablet. Now this is one of those surface lookalikes so you can actually detach the keyboard and this actually replaces the old name which was Latitude 5290. The 7200 is a 12 inch notebook and it pretty much still runs off the 8th generation Intel processor. It is configured up to 16 gigs of RAM and you can actually grab it to a 1 terabyte of SSD hard drive. Now they've also included quick charge in this so it does 80% charge in one hour. Now the weight of it is stated to be 935 grams off the website but when I felt it it felt a lot more heavier than that when you have the actual keyboard itself so I'm thinking that's just the tablet without the actual keyboard but once you put the keyboard in it has been increased a fair bit now. Uh, they have actually changed it to a more metallic like finish. It still is plastic, it's not actually metal, but it does look has a nice feel to it now. With the 7200, the magnetic part where, the, where it holds in the keyboard still hasn't really been increased to be a stronger magnet, so it still has that same problem where it detaches from the keyboard pretty easily if you type too hard on the keyboard. Now what they have done is they've actually created screws on the actual computer at the back to make it more serviceable. So that's a nice little change from Dell. So let's have dive in and look at the ports. On the right side we've got a Noble lock port and also a one USB 3.1 port. On top we've got the power button. On the left hand side you'll see the audio combo jack. You also see the volume control buttons and you'll also see now it's been relocated to is a micro SD card reader. Now this used to be hidden underneath the kickstand but now it's actually a dedicated port on the side which is fantastic makes it really easy now. And you also see two Thunderbolt ports as well. It's nice to see that it's changed the bezel to it. It's got a nicer finish to it. If you have any questions about it, please put a comment below and I'll try and actually cover those topics when I do the unboxing for it. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesday and Fridays. And if you would enjoy the video, give it a like. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you in the next video. On the right side, we've got the Noble lock port and we also have a USB 3.1. Unfortunately, I've got to ditch the actual playground because there are actually kids there now and really don't want to actually film our little kids there. And I, I hopefully, this is just a little blooper there. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. I had some kids actually walk behind that camera there. See you in the next video.